Hello, it's Tom Hallowell here, responding to a great little comment that I got on one of my other YouTube videos, actually one of my most popular ones, uh, which was how to play power chords in drop C sharp or drop D. Um, and the comments from Stuart Lilly, hopefully I said that correct. Uh, Tom, if I'm playing scales, do I need to move up one or two frets on the bass strings to compensate for the drop? Right, to answer your question very simply, you need to move up two frets. The reason why is because when you drop tune your guitar, if my guitar is in standard, my string six, or shall we say my E string, is tuned to E. At the moment it's not, but um, uh, yeah, it's usually tuned to E, right? Then, what you do is when you drop tune it, you're going from E down to D. And that is two semitones down. In that case, to compensate for the drop, what you need to do is when you're playing your scales, you need to start two frets higher, only on the E string. You don't need to do it for any other string. So for example, if we play an A major scale, Usually in standard tuning, an A major scale will start on uh, fret five, um, bro, fret five, string six, yeah? Fret five on the E string. And you'll go five, seven, four, five, seven, four, six, seven. But in drop D, you will start on fret seven, which is two frets higher. And you'll play seven, nine, and then you'll go to four, Five, seven, four, six, seven. Cool, so that's a very short answer to your question. Um, a piece of advice I will give you though is, or an exercise, um, is when you're in drop tuning, let's, let's go to the key of D because you're gonna be in obviously drop D or drop C sharp. So um, it's nice to do a key where the open string is the root note, yeah? Um, so what we're gonna do is, the first thing you should do really is to learn the scale going on one string. So, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Or you can follow the, the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Um, so the first step I would say is do that. Now, if you, if you know how to do that, then you can start to mess around with different power chords um, from each degree. So for example, you're basically gonna bar each uh, fret to, to create a power chord. So you go open, two, four, five, six, uh, seven, uh, nine, 11, 12. And then you can start to mess around. For example, I don't know what I'm playing really, but you get the idea what I'm saying, yeah? From there, if you want to then obviously play scales on different strings as well, um, my advice would be to say the notes out. So we know that D major has a D, E, F sharp, G, uh, A, B, C sharp, and back to D, yeah? So what I would do is just call them out, and I would go D, E, F sharp, G, um, A. I want to change strings now, so where can I find an A? Ah, oh, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, where can I find an A on the next string? There, A, B, C sharp, D. I want to switch and go to E, uh, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Uh, that's how I would look at scales, uh, especially in drop tuning, because uh, the patterns will be a bit weird to, to memorize like the different patterns because your root note is gonna be up here and then you've got to drop down to here. 
So I would just learn all the notes. Uh, first of all, learn the notes on one string, then learn them on the next string, then the next string, and do a vertical, horizontal way of looking at it. I think I covered that on another video when I was in Odessa called Fretboard Freedom. But um, in short, learn the notes. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Next string, A. Uh, so then you start from the open string and you play the same scale though. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now listen, if you didn't really understand what I was telling you about, you know, the, the learning the notes and the scales. I assumed you do know about scales because you asked a question on the scales. Um, but maybe going from your question, maybe you've just learned the shapes, the scale shapes, but you haven't learned the notes on the guitar neck. So I would definitely learn which notes are in each scale and then play each uh, play the scales on one string, uh, but thinking about the notes. Hope that makes sense, Stuart, and good luck with everything. If you've got any more questions, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to help you out with, you know, anything. And if anyone else is watching and they've got a question, comment down below and I will do a video response. I've got a lot of free time here in Argentina. Uh, I'm enjoying life. I'm going out to uh, a party tonight. Here they call them boliches or boliches. So yeah, um, and I want you all to love life too. <laughs>